Wake up, Mario! Mario? W wake up! Mario! Seriously! You need the same business! Wake up! Um... There, there's spaghetti and meatballs behind you! What's where?! What the where?! That's what I should do. <laughs> Anyways, let's go everybody! My name's Chris, and welcome back to some more Super Mario Galaxy 2! In the last episode, we had our first instance of prankster comments. In this episode, we're gonna attack another prankster comment. Oh boy! So I'm pretty much gonna do prankster comments as they come along, because that makes the most sense to me, right? That's what an actual let's player would do, right? Probably. So let's mimic that for a mere moment in time. The shadow lining. It's like the silver lining, but shadow instead! Ah, 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 ah. Oh, that's a knee slapper! Ah. No, but really. <laughs> Okay. So, here we go. I don't know why these blocks are invading. It's like freaking, those look like something. I'm not entirely sure what. There's no time? What is this? Serious thing. I do not remember this star, actually. I actually really don't remember the star at all. At all. Huh. Yeah, I'm normally like good for that. Like, that's what, I kind of hate that actually. Cause it's like, I'll see a horror game on YouTube and you're like, I definitely gotta replay that game when I forget about it. But I never do. I never forget about it. So it's like, if I do play it, I'll completely remember everything. It won't be scary to me. Well, I, was, I was wondering, it's like, how am I gonna get up here without the cloud mushroom? By jumping, you silly little guy. Ah, ah, ah. Okay, so let's just jump for freedom. For freedom! Okay, so this, these guys are really easy to avoid. It's like, come on, this, this game is so freaking easy. Try not to let the star just distract me, but they're so shiny! That's it? Seriously? That's it? Oh, I did not expect it to throw me there. That's it. I, especially for a later level. Like that combat medal in the second level of the game that I did last episode was a lot harder than this. Okay then. So 50 star bits and like, I wonder how long this took. I, I'm actually curious now. How, did that take like a minute or something? Cause that's like 50 star bits in a minute. That's pretty fast if like you ever need the star bit grind or something silly. Yeah, a minute eight seconds. Yeah, it's kind of stressful, I guess. Well, not really. It, it's really not that bad. It's another prankster karma. There's gonna be a lot of these for a while, so we're probably not gonna see too many new galaxies. Probably, if at all, for the next like two or three episodes. But I can assure you, eventually the time will come where we get to see the Boo Galaxy or this freaking ice place. You ice galaxies, gross. Actually, they're really not bad. Uh, where is that again? Dig the other. Uh, nope, not that one. No, Boulder Bowl. I was gonna mix up between Boulder Bowl and Dig Dug Galaxy. They're pretty much the same place, to be honest. They could have told me. Spin Dig, not Dig Dug. <laughs> Isn't that, isn't that a game? Is that a NES game, Dig Dug? Isn't that a game with the pump and you pump all the monsters and you inflate them to death? You murder them by inflation! Dig a legs, Daredevil Run! Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh no, 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 no! That's my Cleveland impression. My name is Cleveland Brown with my new family. Something, something. Oh, I didn't think it was gonna be starting the boss for a second there. Oh boy, here comes the easiest boss in the game. Probably not. A lot of people seem to have trouble with this dude over one. Uh, me, on the other hand, I do not. It is really silly. And I mean, anybody who actually dies on this is really dumb. It's like, come on. It's like so freaking easy, man. It's like, come on. It's like, we're, it's like look at How do you have trouble with that? Then I get the show finally. When you don't jump, he somehow teleports to the other side of me. Oh, 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 oh no. <laughs> So I was totally just taunting this boss, so I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much guaranteed to die a bunch. I suck at this game, if you guys do not know this. Um, yeah, I did not think I, I thought I was gonna die there again, actually. Give me all the star bits. All of them. Every single one of them. Yeah, okay. How? What? I swear to God, this game gets so, like, un... It gets so... I feel like if this wasn't a dare double dare dip 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 double dare dumble comment, I probably would not have good got killed there. I feel like they're lenient. I was thinking the word linear for some reason, but no lenient. I feel like this level's a lot more lenient when it's not the dare double comment for jumping on the spikes, and I have no idea why. It's like, uh, okay, there we go. See? See, it's like, I'll jump right now, but it's like, it almost, it almost feels like their spike stays more facing you. Oh, oh boy. Oh 
Oh no, please don't miss your opportunity only strikes once in a lifetime! Yes! This to guy totally looks like he's wearing like- Well, I can't even see it anymore. Oh god, that's way too early! Ah, oh, god! Oh jeez. So many stresses! So many stresses! Oh, okay. Okay, I'd rather deal with them right then and there than have them going around the planet and being a nuisance. So that's why I do it like that. Okay, come on. Oh no, he's doing it again! Okay. Oh, that's terrifying. Oh, no. There we go. <coughs> oh, I'm so stressful like cough. Oh, okay, that wasn't that bad. Unless I, oh, it'd be hilarious if I somehow died getting the star, wouldn't it? Probably. Let's just get it like that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, I feel so much better now. <coughs> oh, that hurt my throat actually. <laughs> that was exciting. Oh, I'm kind of happy to get that over with, though. I was not looking to that Daredevil. I, I don't look forward to many of the Daredevil runs, just because they are actually difficult, which is good, because honestly, there needs to be more difficulty in these games, if you ask me. They're way too easy, right? Am I right? Am I right? High five! N nobody? Okay. Well, they're actually, they're, I mean, for the most part, the very linear part of the story, like, the stars you absolutely need to get, they seem a lot more easier than, like, the actual challenging stars, like that prankster comet. Okay, where's the, where's the next one? Where's the next one? Apparently, that, that game, or that, that level hurt my throat so much that I'm now voice cracking permanently! Okay, so puzzle plank, is this another daredevil? This might be another daredevil. What? I like how it, like, does this big siren. Purple coin shadow. I like how it does like a big siren for when you're about to do like a uh, call metal. Oh yeah, this. Oh boy, this looks really easy, right? Wrong. Well, actually, it might be. I'm not entirely sure. Depending on how the let's play curse, the let's play gods above me feel like cheating me today. But, oh boy. Oh, this is gonna be easy. Oh no, they're shadow clouds and they're actually challenging. Um, I believe there's exactly a hundred coins in this. So you can't miss any of them, even though I already did. I'm gonna go down here. Oh boy, and yep. Yeah. The more of these shadow clones you leave alive for the end, the better, since they all do turn to star bits at the end, and that could be pretty a nice little extra reward you get for completing the mission. So look at me all guide entral and stuff. You know, like supplying information. Oh, did I miss some down there? I might have done so. Okay, so I guess the time limit isn't that big of a deal. It's like we still have 23 seconds and we're pretty much done. Okay, I was gonna say, maybe we're not almost done. Oh no! Don't you di- I was gonna say, if I died, I would have not had a fun time. Okay, so we killed two of them, and I'm not even sure how many star bits we have to get. I was like, look at these! And of course, everyone you run into, you don't get the star bits from them, so you're gonna want to avoid not running into more than- Actually, you couldn't even run into three of them. If you run into any more than two of them, you're pretty much dead. So, and by pretty much, I mean you're definitely dead. So there's that! And look at this! We're actually making progress for once! We've gotten three stars in this episode, we're only eight minutes in! Yay, progress! It's okay, I'm sure I'll start slowing down very much sooner. But anyways, thanks a lot for watching- What? We're still going? Well, obviously, because the freaking timer down below states that I am. Ah, yes, this prankster con. I've been looking forward to this since I began this Let's Play. And the reason behind that is, actually, I have no idea what Comet Metal this, or what prankster comet this is. I don't know why I act like I have any idea. Uh, I always think it's gonna turn out to be funny, but it's always just really stupid instead. <laughs> so, I don't know, this might be a speedrun, actually. Oh no, actually, I know what this is. This is a time speedrun, but time in a different way. Beanie Piranha speedrun! Yay, speedrun, I wish I could do. Uh, well, I'm, I'm pretty decent at speedrunning Pitfall Lost Expedition, considering, like, you know, there's no one, there's no guides for it, there's no uh, one else speedrunning it, so it's, like, impossible to get a proper... Get a proper way of figuring out what to do. Anyways, yeah, you have to finish this mission in 20 seconds. Oh wait, that's not true actually. Okay, don't you dare, Goomba. If you ruin my day, I will freaking murder your day. Murder. Right, so yeah, you collect clocks. You collect cocks as you go. <laughs> See what I did there? Clock sounds like cock. So I made a joke. I made the funny. Ha ha ha. Okay, I believe if you actually. St oh God, no! <laughs> Die. This is not the time to be dying. Believe it or not. Um, oh boy. 
Okay, maybe this is actually harder than I remember. Okay, I'm actually kind of glad I died. Because I wasn't doing too well. I was not doing too swell at all. In fact, I was pretty swell swelling. Get it? Get it? Do you see what I did there? Swollen, swelling. It's okay, I don't either. Um, I guess it's kind of cool you get to rack up clocks. Yeah, maybe that would actually be better just for the sake of actually... What? Why did they throw me over here for? Maybe that actually was... I don't think I was any better than just collecting one clock and going. Well, whatever then, loser. So, do not care. Do not care. I always say do not care by accident. I have no idea why. Kind of a ridiculous thing. So ridiculous. So silly. My hair is so silly right now. That's a boxy reference. Yeah, boxy. Um, we want to go this way. Right? No? Okay, let's... We, we're not gonna be able to get that clock, are we? No! Collect the clock! I need it to survive! Okay, great. I'm sure I'm dead. This is gonna be a fail-tastic fail. I don't know, it's a baby dinosaur piranha plant thing. He's not really a dinosaur, is he? He's more... He's literally... He's a plant. He's like a Venus flytrap. Thing, but he's always kind of like whenever I think of Pee Piranha, I always think of a dinosaur. Is that weird? Probably not. I don't know, maybe. Look at this a big abundance of fox. We have killed him! We have successfully murdered the PT Piranha. Well, maybe not. His bomb is just red. He's like, ah! Smack that rash! Oh, that's kind of mean, actually. Have you ever had a rash and someone slaps it? That's really painful. How did he grow another egg? The world may never know! Freaking speed run this tactics. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, maybe it's a better idea to cut him off. Right? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's definitely what you want to do. He's pretty much actually kind of think of it. He's kind of like fighting Bowser in the last game, where you like you hit him in the butt, and then you'd spin, and then you have to run the opposite way, and then you would spin his tail, and then yeah, fun times indeed were had. Um, yep, yeah, that. <laughs> I just clicked that star sideways, and Mario kind of like froze midair there. Okay, we got a star. I wonder if there's gonna be another prankster call. Yeah. If there is, I'll do it. If not, I'll call it an episode. That's oh. how I'm gonna do this. Yeah. yeah! I feel so freaking like I'm actually making progress for once. I mean, seriously, man. Okay, there we go. That's what I freaking thought. Pull to pull galaxy, pull to pull galaxy, pull to pull to pull galaxy. Okay, thank you. I'll be here all year and all month, and I, I'll pretty much DJ at anybody's birthday party only if you're un under the age of two. So, uh, if you want a sick DJ and you're under the age of two, then um, hit me up because I'll throw down some sick beats for you, bro. <laughs> okay, rolling crabber romp. Is this what I think it is? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Oh, oh phew. Okay. This isn't the gal- I was thinking of the galaxy where you have to bowl, or where you're Rock Mario and you have to like, um, go down like a big long racetrack thing and it's like all elastic orientated and it sucks and I die at it so much and I always end up with 999 star bits by the end of it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, kill all the crabs because we're having a very crabby day, haha. <laughs> And interestingly enough, these crabs always seem to like gravitate towards like the centers of the planet. Like, where these circles are. See, there they are, right there. See, they're like gravitating towards the centers. Or, yeah, I don't, I don't know why. That's always kind of weirding me out, and I've never been entirely sure why they do that. Yeah, see, it's like right there again. They're all, they're all like centered right there. I don't know. It's kind of weird and terrifying. I wonder if there's like a reason behind that. Like, it's the average out where they're trying to avoid you, and they always end up there. Can we? There's two more, and we have 17 seconds. Normally, I suck at this, but I'm doing fantastic today. Watch me die! Okay, well, there's no way I'm gonna die, but, you know. <laughs> okay, I was gonna say, if I actually managed to mess that up somehow, I would have, like, I, I would have been dishonored to the point where I probably, like, stabbed myself in the stomach and did sipakai. Is that, is that how you pronounce? I'm not sure, I'm sorry. S Sipa Sipa I don't know! The things Samurais do when they're dishonored and they kill themselves. <sighs> Anyways! Okay, now I'm gonna call an episode! 
So I'd like to thank you all very much for watching this fantastic episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Um, if you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Apparently, I went beast mode for this episode since I conquered like every single prankster comment ever. And yeah, if you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and I shall see you guys on the next episode. Bing Toad! Mail Toad, actually. A letter, letter addressed to the Bobby Luba has arrived! <laughs> to my last Luba. I hope this letter reaches you in bright spirits, little one. This should be of some help to you on your journey back to me. May the stars shine down on you and crush you and all you stand for! <laughs> wow, there are 50 starbits attached to that letter! No return address, but I hope get, we get to meet this mystery person soon! <laughs> mm, I wonder who that could be. Wink, wink, Rosalie. <coughs> what? Who said that? What? Rose? Did I just say Rose? Like, fuck. Whoa! Okay, we, uh, we, we've had enough for today. Thanks all for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time, so goodbye.